Hello friends, Google celebrating Elizabeth Kenny, an Australian nurse who founded an alternative treatment for polio known as the Kenny method. Her exercise rehabilitated thousands of polio victims all over the world and is considered one of the most effective forms of treatment prior to vaccines. The Sister Kenny Memorial House, which celebrates her life's work, Open on this day in Nobi, Queensland, in 1997. Elizabeth Kenny was born in Wellelda, New South Wales, on 20 September 1880. She grew up in an impoverished farming community in rural Australia, where home schooled by her mother before attending schools in Goria, New South Wales, and Nobi, Queensland. Although Kenny did not have the opinion to attend medical school, at 17 she forged her own path by voluntarily at the hospital in Goria. In 1911, she encountered her first case of polio. She was unaware of the standard treatment at the time, which forced polio patients to lay in lobby cast for months, which in turn caused muscle atrophy. This caused many polio victims to become permanently paralyzed. With her fresh perspective, Kenny realized the affected muscles were stiff, not permanently damaged. So she held, held her patient by applying hot weight compresses to the affected limbs before having them perform gradual muscle strengthening exercises. To the surprise of the medical community, her method worked. From then on, the exercises becomes known as the Kenny method and news of this effective treatment spread far and wide. Her method promoted internationally while working in Australia, Europe and the United States. Kenny traveled to America in the 1940s to open rehabilitation centers such as the Sister Kenny Institute of Minneapolis, which became the world renowned center of polio treatment. Her alternative method was so effective that she received honorary degrees from Rutgers University and the University of Rochester. President Franklin D. Roosevelt even invited her to lunch to discuss his own own treatment. Impressed by the number of polio victims that the Kenny method rehabilitated, President Harry Truman authorized Kenny to enter the U.S. as she wished without a visa, a great honor only previously granted to one other non-U.S. citizen. Her life story was told in a 1946 film, Sister Kenny. She died on 30th November 1952. We will regularly update on this. Thanks for watching this video.